My husband and I are avid campers. We've had the big Agnes Blacktail 3 for about a year now, and we absolutely love it. We upgraded to the Big Agnes Blacktail 3 from the REI two-person half dome. I'm gonna walk you through some of the features of why we chose this tent and show you some of the things that we learned in our tent research to hope you hopefully save you some time. One of our favorite features is that this is a 100% clipped in tent, meaning there are no tubes through which you have to feed the poles. If you've ever had a tent where you have to feed poles through a tube, you know how annoying it is. The tubes rip, the poles get stuck, and it's a massive pain. This is a 100% clip in tent, which means it's super quick and easy to put up. We do a lot of whitewater rafting, which means we're camping on beaches, and so sand blows into our tent. Our previous tent had too much mesh and the fabric didn't come up high enough, so our tent got filled with sand when there was any breeze at all. This fabric comes up all the way to halfway which means we don't get sand in our tent when it gets windy camping and backpacking since i was three probably put up over 100 tents and rain flies are always my arch nemesis this is by far the easiest rain fly i've ever put on all you do is use this simple loop to pull it over that top pole on the roof it slides on super easily and then you just clip it to the base on the four poles inch it tight stake it down and you're good if it's super windy you can also use these loops to hook the rain fly around the hooks on the poles for extra security Here's what it looks like all staked out. Even without the guy lines, we've been able to survive gusts up to 20 miles per hour. And with the guy lines, we've been at base camps with winds up to 80 miles per hour, and we've been just fine. This rainfly and tent have held up through countless rainstorms, two hailstorms, and one snowstorm with no leaks, no problem, and really very little condensation on the inside. Favorite thing about this tent is how versatile it is. It's light enough to go backpacking, and we've done that multiple times, but it's also rugged enough for front country camping. If you plan to only use this in the front country and not in the back country, I recommend the hotel version, which is really just a different rain fly. That's what's pictured here. It's great because it gives you a little bit more room in the vestibule, but I would not recommend the hotel version if you're going to go backpacking. I've never had to do it, but using just the footprint and the rain fly, this does make a super fast throw up emergency shelter, which is great for backcountry adventures. One thing I don't rave about with this tent is how thin the fabric is. It is pretty thin, so I recommend only ever using it with the footprint. Make sure you get that to make sure you keep the bottom of your tent intact. It's wonderful and roomy, even though it's light. My husband is six foot one and laying down, he has room at both his head and his feet without his head or feet touching the walls. That's awesome. With just the two of us, we have plenty of room for gear. And even if we have my son camping with us, we still have some room to keep gear inside in the rain if we need to. Cool, thoughtful features that I love are this tent flap on the top it really helps keep it cool if it's hot and reduces condensation. In addition to the regular door tie off, it has this quick door tie off to make getting in and out easy. You camp a ton like I do, you know how frustrating it is to bend a stake. These stakes will not bend. They are not the chintzy normal tent stakes. These things are reinforced heavy duty for wind, rain, and snow. They make it easy to stake into hard rocky soil and Big Agnes has really gone above and beyond on their stakes, which if you camp a lot, you know how crucial stakes are. This this is an incredible upgrade. The pocket system is also really well thought through. These pockets are on the roof. It has places to hang lanterns and these pockets on the side are attached to the tent so there's no swinging books or headlamps hitting you in the face while you sleep. Breakdown is even easier than setup. My husband and I timed it this time. It took us 90 seconds to get the tent broken down and ready to put away. In this case, we folded it, but a pro tip is actually to stuff your tent so you prevent getting wrinkles in the same place, which can weaken the walls of your tent. Overall, I give the Big Agnes Blacktail 3 a 9 out of 10. 9 only because of the thinness of the fabric, but everything else that I was looking for in a tent, this nails. After multiple excursions in all sorts of weather, this tent has held up. For us, this tent has not only stood the test of time, but it is also to pass the adventure test. If you are looking for an outstanding three or four person tent, the Big Agnes 3 or the Big Agnes Blacktail 4 is an incredible tent. I highly recommend. Whether you're a backpacker, a car camper, an alpinist, or a backyard camper, the Big Agnes Blacktail 3 is my favorite tent and I highly recommend.